Welcome everybody to this tutorial video on how to install Vaso platform. I'm Sven, I'm with digitalnorthconsulting.com and my main mission with digitalnorthconsulting.com is that we want to uh, keep our data on our servers. So I prefer to use uh, self-hosted installations and one of the best projects I've come across is Vaso platform, which is a PBX on top of asterisk system and uh, you uh, you can you can use it beautifully and you can extend it beautifully because it has a very well uh, built uh, core functionality and very well uh, extendable apis so let's get started on how to install it i've got a fresh server and um, it's not exactly fresh Let's take a look before we go and start our installation because I want to show you something. Now I go to ETC and we find Apache 2 installed. Apache 2 uses the port 80 and when I run the install script of Vaso, it will run on an error. So first thing that I'm going to do is apt remove Apache 2. I want to do exactly that. Now, I've got another thing. Uh, if you uh, go to the server in the beginning, uh, you will find the web page served by this Apache 2. And this web page is usually in var www.html index. Now, if I leave it here without a change, it will also cause an error. So I'll leave it here because last time I uh, deleted uh, uh, files like one file too much and I couldn't run the installation anymore so uh, I hope this is going to run well like this all right so let's get started with the Vaso installation but one thing we have to do before is uh, z -z -z. configure the locales, uh, which is the language of the system. And uh, we will stick with the English US, if I find it, oh, there you go. UTF-8, use the space bar to um, put the asterisk and configure default NUS UTF-8. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, most important packages, but first, apt update, as you should always do to get the new lists and apt upgrade as well. Upgrade. All right. So, control L to clear the screen. Okay, so let's get started with the installation itself. Ansible. And Git and Python. What's next? By the way, this uh, shell uh, program is not putty, but it is MOBA X term, spelled like this, MOBA X term, and I like to use it a lot because it has this neat SCP uh, dash SFTP browser, and I can just follow the terminal folder. So when I CD here into whatever etc. 
it will follow me on the left so it's very easy to find files and uh, I can just recommend it if you use Windows so anyways let's continue part okay ansible and then all right so now I actually need this follow terminal folder because now I'm in etc vaso ansible and I want to uh, change a file according to the instructions. It's the inventories you see engine files to add my references and passwords um, We can have a look at here uh, Here are the the variables that we can use for example Database engine API I believe we need something here. Okay, let's see. Um, first of all, open it up. I open it with my default text editor, which is much easier. Uh, you can see here, and then I will... This is, by the way, VS Code, Visual Studio Code. It's also a recommendation. I like it a lot. I'm basically a beginner, so uh, this is... Uh, easy to use for me. I'm not a programmer. I'm more of a consultant. So, uh, But I, I believe it's used by programmers as well. So um, this is much easier than, for example, using the VI tool. You can do that too. You see engine and uh, just uh, edit a command line, but I don't like it so much. So uh, I even have a hard time figuring out the commands, save and whatever. It's just easier like this. So let's follow the instructions once again. Um, development version, activate the following settings. You know if you need the development version or the, um, the stable one. Now, if you want to install a web user interface, uh, activate the following in your inventory. We definitely want to do that because that's what I showed you in the beginning. So let's see, engine vars, uh, what is that again? Engine host. There you go. So engine host. Uh, you see uh, UI children. Oh, there it is. We can just uncomment it, which makes it easier. Oops, brackets gone lost. All right, so create the root account at the time. UC engine vars, configure vars, vars, vars. There you go. Super user password. Am I blind now? I think I need to add them. Okay, so uh, very strong root password. Good. It's going to be created with the user root, so keep that in mind. I will save it now and uh, my uh, uh, my mobile X term will automatically upload it to the server so let's go ahead and do that and let's oh it will not probably because I have not checked uh, inventories let's check it did not upload it I believe did it Ah, I'm I'm root already. Okay, so here's the um, the uh, button for 
uh, sudo for the SSH browser. If you're not root, I am now root, but if you're not root and you need sudo, you can, you can just check this. Just using the SCP protocol and not with the SFTP protocol. So it did upload, so we can get started with the actual installation. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. Launch the installation. Here we go. Now I will uh, skip and fast forward to the end of stuff and yes, see you and hear you there. Okay, after a minor problem in the restart, we are now done with the installation. Uh, the problem which caused uh, me to have to install it again was because I used a special character in the domain name, uh, which uh, resulted in an error in, in, in a Python script. And uh, I'm not a programmer, so I cannot uh, correct it. But I uh, already had several problems with special characters in domains. So I uh, changed it to a regular domain and voila, it does work as you can see. So let's check it out and uh, test it right here. Uh, let me get the domain name. There we go. It's forbidden because... Uh, here we go. Username root and password was very strong password. Very strong password. Very strong password. Here we go. We are inside of Vaso platform. I don't want to save that. And we have two tenants already. It's the master and the my company tenant. So this concludes the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you made the installation. I hope it was as easy as mine was. And if you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when there's new videos on Vaso and other open source platforms, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. If you need consulting and help on Vaso in German language or in English, please reach out to me per email or on YouTube. I wish you a great day and see you in the next video where we are going to find out what we can do with Vaso and how to make the basic installation and uh, to install the trunks and users and maybe some API so we can uh, use the Vaso platform for the first phone calls. See you in the next video. Bye bye.